some blues piano tips um hopefully you help somebody um the so the first thing is you don't want to just use so this is going to be in g you don't want to just use the blues scale It often you can sound a bit like <laughs> you know like that so you want to add other notes in there so I'd usually use all of the all of the white notes say in G I'd use all those almost chromatic like you can there's no notes you can't use you just is emphasizing that those blues scale notes the other thing you want to do is slide off of the That's a good thing to practice. Now the other thing uh, that is really useful, so you practice these. So you're, you're making a, a bending, as if you're bending the note. Now the other thing you want to do is add, instead of just playing single notes, just the octave the other G but add any of the notes of the chord to fill it out a bit. The oct oct octave up the top is probably the easiest one. To... So that's just... Basically, inversions, the different inversions, and, and the seventh. And it doesn't matter if it's a bit sloppy like that. Okay, so that's two, two or three things. The other thing is, um, don't get stuck to playing everything in time, like... So, you can also... Uh, 
think that's not a good example, but you can. So that's uh, concentrate on the, your left hand. Keep the time and just so that doesn't have to be, or you know, try and separate your brain so that you can just. I keep doing that. That's another thing. One, five, eight. We're here in G, G, D, and G. Now you just wiggle the wrist. You kind of pivot on the on on there a little bit. Or I don't know. But that's an important one because you can. So you are basically you're playing that. So just if you just focus on your thumb, but keep that locked into one, five, eight. You mix all those things together, so you're playing a, a blues scale with some other some other passing notes in there. With some slides. Add the octave in there. Thank you. 